Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup. I am joined by my trusty assistant, Alf. You just saw Penny walk out of the room. Listen, I've tried uh, starting this video multiple times now, and these two are so cute, but so distracting. And um, I think you're just gonna have to be patient with me because whatever happens during this take, including my squirrel brain, like, getting distracted we're just we're gonna go with it okay we're gonna we're just gonna ride this crazy train um if you're new here this is alf alf is my uh beloved pug <laughs> he is honest he just follows me everywhere i go so um and i don't have the heart to like tell him to not to because he's so cute and i just love him and this is why i got a pug i i love me a lap dog <laughs> he is like the epitome of a lap dog so anyway it's Saturday. It's time for Yield Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. By the time that you guys are watching this video, I'm gonna be out of town, relaxing at the Oregon coast for a little uh, spring break weekend getaway. Um, honestly, I feel like my brain really needs this. I just need a couple days to not think about work, to not think about, um, you know, like, activities that my kid is in and how I'm gonna get her to all the things uh, on time and um, you know the fact that these dogs need to go in to uh, have their anal glands expressed and their nails trimmed like it's just you know like it's a lot there's there's a lot that goes through my brain and um, yeah I just need a break so when you guys are watching this I'll be uh, frolicking on the beach somewhere here in Oregon and it's gonna be great. So I'm really looking forward to it, but that also means that I'm filming this a little bit earlier in the week, so I'm actually filming this on Thursday. Um, however, uh, I feel like I, I'm i still able to very easily put this video together for you. I will say I'm not gonna take you around the tour like I normally do of what's currently burning, what's in my Crocs, stuff like that. Um, that will be back next week, but I'm just trying to like limit the amount of editing that I have to do. So anyway, um, thanks for bearing with me and happy spring break to you if your spring break is this next week. It is here for us in Oregon. So um, I'm looking forward to also spending some time with, uh, with my daughter Stella next week as well. So we have a couple of little adventures planned just around town here. So, all right. Um, as always, check out the description box. She is going to be a plethora of information, um, lots of links to where you can find any of the things that I'm showing here. Um, I have a couple of discount codes that I can share from both Homeworks as well as Kringle. I'm an affiliate or an ambassador with both programs. So if you're interested uh, in anything from either of those two companies, maybe that'll save you a little bit of extra money. Um, there will be a uh, candle crock candle lamp 101 sale information for the companies that i tend to frequent um yeah there's just a lot of links and stuff down there i link my favorite crocs my favorite lamps um and if you're not really familiar with either of those two definitely check out my candle crock 101 C candle crock and candle lamp 101 i finally combined those videos last year so that um, should help you if you have never heard of either of those two and you have some questions. I do demonstrate them both. And um, yeah, I put links to really great options if you're looking to invest in either one of those or both of them. I personally use Crocs and lamps, so, and I certainly did this week. Um, even though you won't be seeing what I was using, I will tell you what I had under my Crocs, uh, under my lamps and in my Crocs, there we go. All right, without further ado, um, should we hop into it, Alf? Let's talk about what's currently burning. First on my kitchen counter is, ooh, they're gonna be done, I feel like, by the end of the day today. I have my Kringle Reserve Sweet Cream and my Kringle Reserve Sprinkled Macarons. Now, I'm really sad about finishing both of those because honestly, Kringle has not restocked either of those two fragrances in a while, and I don't know when they're going to. I'm really hopeful that they're gonna do it somewhat soon. Um, I would love to be able to continue to light those up for the remainder of the spring and the summer. I just think they're so, they're really great together, but they're wonderful independent fragrances as well. 
Now to tide me over with the sprinkled macarons, I did go ahead and place an order with Kringle for <laughs> four of the marshmallow mornings. Um, I do agree that that fragrance is uh, pretty similar. I don't think they're exact dupes of each other. I feel like I smell some differences between the two. Um, but that being said, I think marshmallow morning is definitely a good um, backup to have on hand anyway. So I did get four of those. I know I'm not supposed to do it. I know. Listen, it was National Fragrance Week. <laughs> There's all sorts of sales happening this week and um, I just, when I saw how low I was on the sprinkled macarons, I was like, ah, well, since Kringle insists on making me miserable and never offering more of that for sale, probably ever again, I, I, that's not the case. I'm just making that up in my head, but um, it's just taking them a really long time to bring it back and I wish they'd be uh, a little bit faster about it. But at least I have that to hold me over. I did also purchase a couple of other candles here and there for um, National Fragrance Week. So um, more reviews to come. Yay. <laughs> Exciting, right? Um, but uh, that is what's currently going in the kitchen. It's a really great combo. If you have them both, try burning them together. Here behind me, I have Happy Easter. What is it? Daffodil Daydreams from... Bath and Body Works. Listen, you guys warned me about this one. I should have just taken it back. It's so light. <laughs> I I can't smell it in here. I can smell it when I'm standing over it, but what happened? I don't want to have to bring back another candle to Bath and Body Works because I did just exchange my, what was it? The almond croissant because I didn't like that. Actually, th this is what I exchanged. The almond croissant for, and again, you guys warned me, but Sometimes, you know, I'm one of those stubborn people and sometimes I'm just like, oh, maybe, maybe mine will be fine. I'll just try it. No, no, you guys were spot on. So, uh, I, well, maybe I'll hit a scent pocket. I don't know. Should I put it in a crock? Have you guys tried it in a crock? How's, does it do better there? <laughs> I don't know. What am I going to do with this? Tell me what to do with it. Should I just take it back? Probably. Anyway, um, so that's what's going in here. Um, Paulo, uh, is it Palo Santo and Sage? Sage and Palo Santo from Kringle. It's a new fragrance for spring, summer uh, 2024 from Kringle. And that is going in my downstairs powder room right now. And those are all the candles that are currently lit. In the candle crock in my laundry room, I have the last little bit of my Country Candle Strawberry Lemonade. Uh, that's another new one for spring summer this year. I should have probably repurchased that one when I placed my order for the marshmallow morning but I was like oh it'll be fine I'll just reorder it you know when summer comes around but then it was probably silly because I could have saved myself some shipping but whatever it's fine. Um, I'm loving it in the candle crock. That is a powerhouse in the candle crock and there's only about this much wax left in the bottom of it so that is a fabulous scent. I wholeheartedly recommend the strawberry lemonade. It's so good. The wicks did great um, to the last burn. Now, did it, did it go down completely? No, but that's fine. I, it would have done great. This, this one did great. We'll talk about this one here in a second. But um, yeah, so uh, that is what is in the laundry room. In my upstairs uh, bedroom, our master bedroom, if you will, I put, the, again, the last little bit of the sweet red mango from Bath and Body Works. I love that scent. I guess I didn't realize that that was like a returning uh, favorite. Um, I don't know how I've never noticed it in the past. It's so good. I love that particular scent and the performance was amazing. That was a Bath and Body Works candle where everything was just mwah, chef's kiss. So good. Um, I'm not using the candle crock in my back bedroom, that pink room where I film. Um, a lot of my other content um, not using that one uh, I am using the can here's an update for you I'm using the candle lamp that is in my mat in my kitchen and I put the Kringle three wick raspberry jam under there to warm versus burning it I had such a bad experience with the raspberry jam it smelled so good on cold sniff but when I burn that thing something went wrong like horribly wrong there's this bizarre green note that comes through a lot of people have said that theirs smells kind of spicy almost like there's jalapeno in the fragrance or something um i've heard uh one other person called theirs kind of rancid smelling so i don't know what happened 
but I tell you what, when I melt it, it smells amazing and delicious. Mm -hmm. So it has to be an interaction between the flame and the oils when it's lit. I don't know if it just burns kind of hot and that somehow tweaks the scent. I have no idea what went wrong, but that was one of those uh, like fruity three wicks that just didn't work out for me. N neither did the uh, passion fruit punch. So um, that was a real bummer as well but it smells really good underneath my lamp. So I'm just, I'm just gonna keep melting that sucker and um, it, I just know that if I wanna buy it again, I'm just gonna wait for it to go on sale and then I will buy it knowing that I'm just gonna have to put it either in a crock or underneath a lamp to begin with. But I hope that Kringle goes back to the drawing board, especially with the raspberry jam and the pomegranate punch because I, I love, pomegranate punch not a uh, passion fruit punch pomegranate punch was fine that was delicious um but yeah the, the passion fruit punch um i hope they go back to the drawing board on that one um i love passion fruit and it just that one did smell rancid for me and i think it was just again the interaction of the flame with the oils maybe i don't know but i hope that kringle tests that one out <laughs> and maybe makes some tweaks to it and brings it back to us for the summer. I'll totally buy more. I will buy more. I, I bought the ones that I reviewed, so, um, but it did definitely bum me out. Now, in terms, is that everything? Yes, yes. Um, buddy, do you mind if I set you down for a second? Can I do that? Because I gotta reach and I don't wanna squish your tiny little body. All right. Now, these two, I had an absolutely delightful experience with, and I finished them both. Although, um, this one, it looks like there's absolutely no wax left in here because there isn't. I kind of want to keep this blueberry jar. So after um, it finished the very last burn, I put it into my candle crock so that I could loosen the wick clips. <laughs> and I plucked them out, and then I poured the wax out. Um, so she's a little bit of a mess in here right now, but I really just like these blueberries for some reason. I don't need to keep this, but the hoarder in my heart <laughs> makes me want to keep this jar. I, I don't need to keep this jar. I don't know why I did that. It's just so cute though, but I loved crushed blueberries. This was amazing. I would recommend picking this one up. It's a really delicious blueberries. I have in-depth reviews now on my channel of all of the three wicks that I purchased. I got five of them. Um, I might order some of the other scents as well. Um, wait, I haven't reviewed this one, have I? No, I haven't put my review of the strawberry patch up. I'm definitely past the halfway point, so I need to review it. I'll get this one up maybe on, probably not Monday. I think it's gonna be Tuesday, but like this one but if you're looking for like a strawberry lemonade scent which is essentially kind of what this is to my nose I think that the strawberry lemonade from the country candle line is even better I was hoping that this was a little bit of a dupe for the uh, homeworks farm stand strawberry it's not this has quite a bit of citrus in it and um, yeah but it's it's nice it's nice it's not bad um, but the, oh I loved this oh I loved it in fact, I loved it so much, I did put the last little bit of it. This is why the wicks are all wonky. I did put the last little bit of this into one of my candle crocks um, and uh, extracted every little ounce of delicious peachy goodness. This one here is a dupe for Farm Stand Peach from Homeworks. Like they nailed it. <laughs> Not that I think they were trying to make a dupe of it, but they're very, very similar. So if you like Farm Stand Peach, you're gonna like this one. I love this one. I'll be getting more of this for summer for sure. All right. Um, what else did I finish? I finished this Sunset in Maui. Now I did go ahead and pour out this wax into, um, I was trying to finish, uh, trying to finish up a few, um, fire starters. Um, I use a lot of my, I have a video about it in the description box, but I use a lot of my like leftover wax after I'm done, you know, melting a candle or my Scentsy wax. I make fire starters for the fireplace in our backyard and um, I needed a little bit more wax to finish one of those fire starters so I just poured this into there. Um, this is Sunset in Maui. 
I really love this scent. This was such a great scent. Um, I want to repurchase this one. I had a pretty good experience with it. This is Sunkissed Papaya, Hibiscus Flowers, and Ripe Pineapple. Yes, I like the pineapple. I said it. <laughs> if you're if you're new here, uh, I have a real thing against pineapple uh, in home fragrance. I just don't think it smells authentic most of the time. There's actually a few fragrance notes where I'm just like, Ugh. actually, one of the fragrance notes that makes me go. Ugh is um eucalyptus uh so i i was burning this this week but i have to tell you i don't really personally enjoy this fragrance but i'm burning it because uh kringle was kind enough to send this one to me in pr it's just not a scent that's in my wheelhouse there's nothing wrong with the with the candle um it's burning fantastically like these wicks are do they're doing great and look how clean this burn is look at the clean um so yeah i've been burning this it's just very minty to my nose and honestly mint is another one of those fragrance notes where i'm just like mm, this isn't for me um but there's also eucalyptus in here as well so mm, i wish i could get into it because it's it's a hell of a good performer but anyway i don't have a, an in-depth review of this one up but i did want to burn it a couple more times this week to get it ready for that and we're just about at the halfway point i feel like i'm i think i'm ready to review this one so That'll be up next week. Um, I finally put up my review of the ever so beautiful Sand and Santal. Actually, no, I have not. I lied. That's going up tomorrow. Sorry. There's some videos that I pre-filmed for tomorrow. Um, so if you're curious about Sand and Santal, you should watch that video. This one's really nice. The more that I burn this one, the more I'm like, I really like this. <laughs> It's got a healthy dose of coconut in it and coconut I do love. I love me some coconut. Um, also, another review that you're gonna see tomorrow is the Lemon Tea and Roses. If you're thinking about picking this one up, please watch my review. I'm having, this is the only one. This is literally the only one that I'm having some burn issues with. Something is wrong with these wicks, which is strange because all the other wicks on all the other country candles, cause they switch the wicks out. Um, for this particular lineup. All those wicks are great, but the wicks on this one, I'm struggling. So it's an amazing scent. I would say if you're really interested in this one, maybe get the wax melts, but watch my review. It's going live tomorrow. Um, this, this I need to review next week too, Coral. I was really, my house was smelling kind of fresh this week. In fact, that's why I didn't use a lot of Scentsy because I didn't have really anything on hand from Scentsy that paired really well with a lot of these like fresher scents that I was doing this week. So um, yeah, it's been kind of interesting to not use my warmers at all. I've really missed having them on this week. But anyway, Coral from Kringle. This is also new for spring, summer um, 2024. Man, this is another one of those ones where initially I was like, oh yeah, that's fine, but I really like it the more I burn it. Who are you gonna growl at? Who are you seeing? There's someone in your backyard? Oh goodness. He gets real mad at our neighbors that live behind us because they exist. <laughs> he has some real beef about them like living in this world. I'm not sure why. Um, oh, I finished my first one and I bought a backup. This one was sent to me in PR, just so you guys are aware. Um, I will say the burn was fairly good. Now it did get a little dirty on the last burn. Um, and that is because I let it go for about six hours. I had like, I don't know, the wax was about up to here and I was like, well, I don't want to blow it out. Like, I'm just going to let it go. So it did get a little smoky and hazy at the top, if you can see that here. But the burn up until that, like last burn, was great. Like, really nice and clean like this one. Um, I love this scent. I love cake pops. And again, I bought a backup already, so um, I'll be enjoying more of this throughout the summer. Highly recommend this one if you're looking for a gourmand. All right, let's do, yeah, let's do some homeworks. All right, farm stand peach. Uh, Harry has brought back all of the farm stands. Um, this is, this is, these two are so similar. <laughs> um, they really, honestly,
maybe this is even a touch sweeter maybe an even slightly riper peach note but virtually the same anyway i have a farm stand peach here i have a bunch of farm stand peach because i bought a boatload of the farm stand trios <laughs> back in the day and um yeah so uh here we go here is farm stand peach this one's doing fine so far and this is a 2023 pour yeah 2023 hmm so good so this is this is not this is not from like the farm stand collection that i have those actually the trios that i purchased so this i must have gotten from homeworks.shop um the trios that i bought have the lids that have like the coordinating fruit design on them so the farm stand strawberry has beautiful strawberries on the lid um the peach has peaches you know the blueberry farm stand blueberry has blueberries on the top but yeah this one here has a white lid so this is from the beginning of 2023 this is when i got my hands on that um i finished the sugared lychee martini I love this one you guys this is such a great scent I purchased this from QVC I think it's still available um, if there's a good sale happening on this this weekend maybe if there's free shipping or something like that I would highly recommend this one I had a really great experience with it and I loved it um, so definitely check that out this one here was sent to me in PR this is the last review that you guys are gonna see tomorrow I already prepared all these videos so you can see here a uh, nice clean burn but she is not without her flaws if you're thinking of ordering this please know that it's very light like very very light but the thing that really sucks here is that it's such a good scent Ugh! harry makes some of the best scents especially when it comes to like summer tropical type vibes he just has a knack for it but for whatever reason this one by the way the notes here are tropical passion fruit sweet pineapple uh orange blossom and vanilla sugar he just has a knack for creating incredible scents but the strength and throw of this one is it's pretty bad um i mean watch the review tomorrow but i wouldn't say pop this one in your cart unless you like a, a lighter experience with your home fragrance which I think most of the people that are watching right now probably don't want a lighter experience. There's a few of you, I, and I and I don't want to like discount the people that you know don't really love um, their candles to smack them in the face when they enter a room. That's my personal preference, but it's not everybody's. So some people live with other people who are not as into home fragrance, and so they just have to be more mindful about other people. Um, some people live in apartments and, you know, like they don't want to like offend their neighbors with a bunch of smells coming out of their, I don't know. I mean, there's a, a variety of reasons, but um, I guess if you like that lighter performance, check that one out but if that's not what you're looking for i unfortunately i'd say skip that and they did send this one to me so sorry homeworks but if you fix it and you increase the strength and throw i'll buy eight it's so good i love this scent i really would buy eight i have no business buying eight homeworks candles but i would it's so good it's a great scent all right um just the two randoms here so these definitely didn't really fall into the more freshy type of vibe these are a little bit more tropical at tiki beach i only did one burn of this this week but i love tiki beach can you believe this is the first time i ever tried tiki beach is like just this year with this candle i know crazy right anyway my scent preferences are evolving gosh how is this still 23 minutes long okay i promise you we're almost done candleberry pink sugar um i think i have one more burn left on this um i do still need to review these candleberry candles that i purchased not long ago um I really like this pink sugar. I think this is so enjoyable. Um, but I don't know that I want this in a cookie jar is the only thing. The cookie jars are enormous. Um, if you're new here, I I originally purchased a candleberry cookie jar last year in the vanilla crumb crumb cake, crumb top, crumb cake scent. Now I don't remember the name something along those lines and I finished it and it was great it I actually had a pretty decent burn in terms of like the soot that was produced it really wasn't like a whole lot it was a pretty clean burning candle 
and good strength and throw like really good strength and throw and I want to get another one but I don't want to get the same thing um but I also am not super familiar with all of the candleberry scents so I buy these small jars just to be able to test them out and figure out which scent I really love um so I have the um there's a tangerine one right I think there's a tangerine one um, I ordered their waffle cone, which by the way, if you think that that is like an actual waffle cone scent, it's not. I'm really disappointed in the waffle cone, but I love this, but I just don't know that I want my entire house to smell like Aqualina pink sugar. I mean, if it was the early 2000s, I would have like, I would have loved it. <laughs> I wore that perfume, um, but I think it's a bit sweet, especially since I have to be mindful of the fact that I do have two roommates human roommates uh my husband and my daughter so anyway all i used for scentsy this week were these two here the shamrock splash was going in the bathrooms upstairs and the lemon drizzle cake was going in uh, my master bedroom as well as in the upstairs hall but that was that was all that i used for scentsy i didn't have either of these two warmers on this week and honestly i have like like seven warmers downstairs none of them were on this week so I just didn't really have anything that coordinated with you know like the coral or the cotton flowers or the lemon tea and roses and so I just was like eh, I'll just turn the warmers off but I'm really excited to get back into town and to turn my warmers on again. So again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to be here with me today, uh, even though I was a little squirrel brain. But um, yeah, I'm going to clean up my mess here and uh, get to pack in uh, my bag for the beach. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Be sure to tune in for the candle reviews that are going live tomorrow. They're all scheduled, all ready to go. So even though I won't be here, you'll still see them. So uh, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!